Hi everyone. Welcome to your daily reading. This is your reading for tomorrow, Friday, May 31st, 2019. It's Friday. So happy. And then it's the weekend. We're using the Everyday Oracle today for your reading. Uh, I love these cards. Also known as the Vera Sibilla Italiana, my little Italian Oracle deck. Let's see what's going on tomorrow. This is a reading for all signs. So, uh, I'll call out the signs as I see them. Therefore, it is a reading for the collective. It is a general reading. You may or may not resonate, but that's the fun. That's the fun of watching. All right, let's see what's going on for tomorrow. Friday, May 31st, 2019. What do we need to miss here? Oh, that came out fast. We have the conversation. A bunch of other cards that came out. I'm going to put them back. That's too many. All right, so the conversation or la conversazione is a friendly dialogue. This can be between uh, people sitting around a table. It can also just be, um, <clears throat> you know, it is the Ace of Hearts in the tarot. So I've written there, Ace of Hearts. So freely flowing emotions as well. Seems to be a good day to have a talk or to converse with others. Let's see, what else do we need to know about Friday, May 31st, 2019? Yeah, what else do we need to know about Friday, May 31st, 2019? And the conversation, what else do we need to know about this conversation? Is it going to go well? Well, we have the Delorante. So this is... People who are involved in some kind of fooling, foolish behavior, I want to say fooling around, uh, stupid actions, all right, so it could be here, uh, a group of friends or a group of people. I'm definitely seeing multiple people here. So let's just say three or more people are involved. What else do we need to know about tomorrow? Oh, something flipped over. We have the messenger, good or bad news. However, there is a message coming. Let me see if I can get one more card here. What comes after the message? The messenger or the message? What comes after the messenger or the message? We have the Belvedere and the present. So, <clears throat> an ambitious woman who has her eyes on the prize. Like I said, I'm definitely seeing a bunch of people here. Um, I'm definitely seeing water signs, earth signs, um, the jack of diamonds would also be like a page of pentacles. Okay, so definitely earth signs, water signs, and the three of hearts here is similar to the three of cups in the tarot, and the uh, three of diamonds or the three of pentacles. Okay, so that being said, I see people getting together and talking. This is a friendly conversation. I then see some people going out and acting crazy, doing foolish behavior, having, you know, just maybe this is people who are um, getting together as friends. They decide to go out. They're sitting around a table talking and they decide to go out. I do see a message coming to at least one of these people. Now, uh, it can be male or female here. I'm seeing both indicated. Um, uh, typically, the messenger uh, is uh, basically bringing in information um, to someone. So it could be that there's an email or a text message or something like that. Um, it does look, it does look positive. Um, in fact, this could be with regards to someone who is very ambitious, someone who's trying to make plans. Um, the Belvedere is someone who has their eye on something out in the future. Um, farsighted person, very farsighted, good planner. Okay, and I'm also getting Pisces energy for this. 
And then we have the present. It could be selfish or unselfish. Um, I'm seeing, I see a woman here who has her eye on something very precious indeed. Um, could be money, could be, um, you know, some piece of jewelry or even something that she wants for herself. Something that she wants for herself. I'm also getting some something that someone wants for themselves out in the future. So something that someone's planning for themselves out in the future. Um, Long-term plans, but there's a goal in mind here. A very specific goal. Okay. Um, underneath the deck we have the Gran Consolazione. The Great Consolation. So this is someone who has um, basically had, you know, wishes given, wishes granted. It's gratification achieved after a long time. So finally getting what you want. Um, finally getting the results that you want. Whether it's money, whether it's uh, attention, affection, um, a commitment, whatever. Um, what's kind of throwing me off here is just how many people I'm seeing at the beginning of the reading. Um, because there are literally one, two, three, four, five, six people on the first card. So it almost look, even looks like a family getting together or people sitting around a table talking. Then there seems to be movement away from that and definitely um, a letter or a message or some kind of news coming. Um, so if you're someone that's going to be out with a group of friends tomorrow or you're, you know, you're not expecting to receive a message, that's probably, you're probably one of the people that would be getting this message. Um, uh, and I'm actually getting here, yeah, this can be with regards to someone that has always wanted something. They've always wanted to do something. They've always wanted to, this can be someone that's always wanted to be able just to send, um, let someone know how they feel. You know what? I am leaning towards the romance angels. I was before. So let's go ahead and clarify that because I'm, I'm kind of seeing, um, like, for example, a male energy out with a group of friends sitting around a table, and then I am seeing a female who um, is trying to make plans, and so she is actually sending out a message to one of these males suitors, possibly. And I feel like this, this satisfies this person greatly. I feel like um, this is exactly what they wanted to hear. Okay. Um, and I feel like um, if you're the man watching uh, and you do end up getting a message tomorrow from someone who is, um, it could be from a very ambitious woman. Um, but do keep in mind that her, her sights are set on something material. Okay. Whereas I feel like it could be the same for you as well if you're a man watching. Um, if you're a female watching, I feel like, you know, you have your eyes on something pretty spe pretty specific here. Um, yeah, so I guess the question is, are your values aligning up with each other? Let's see, what else do we need to know about tomorrow? Please, please help clarify this reading. Whoa. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Um, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. Um, well, I do see someone here who's definitely got their eyes set on the prize. You know, they're definitely, but we have unrequited love. So it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Interesting. Um... That's usually not a very good sign. That's not a good sign. Then. Uh, this this definitely could be... Um, this could go either way. This could be um, a man who is besotted with a woman who wants nothing to do with him. And this woman is just simply just trying to be optimistic about, you know, keeping things going for herself. Because um, I do see someone that has a woman here who has her back to the majority of this reading. All right. However, I do feel like the message is coming from this woman. There doesn't seem to be enough chemistry to keep this relationship going, however. Let me see if I can get any more information. 
12. Playfulness. So, to recap, recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Um, so, usually, this is a signal that um, someone here needs to lighten things up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> this is a it's a guidance message, really. Um, it seems that uh, the female in this reading, whoever this resonates with, is very focused on um, something precious to her that she wants, something that she's ambitious about having or getting. And if there's a man involved here, it seems that he's also uh, maybe more involved with his friends or his social circle. I do see a letter coming. I do see a message arriving. Um, it seems to be it seems to be satisfactory in a, in the short term. But the underlying message that I'm getting is that, yeah, you can stay optimistic, but there's still unrequited love here. <laughs> so there needs to maybe be more playfulness in the relationship. Um, someone here can be very focused on long-term goals or on something. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, if you happen to be in a situation where your partner happens to be more like out on the scene, very like friendly, just very social, like, that person would be receiving a message from a female who's more ambitious. Um, it seems to please this man greatly. However, I do feel like there's still an issue going on with the chemistry in the relationship that has to do with um, really just the way that you interact with each other, the way that these two interact with each other. It's really hard for me to say who this man is because like, I'm, like I said, um, he kind of blurs into the background, but um, here he is at the bottom of the deck. So um, I'm seeing someone that has like um, maybe some facial hair. I'm seeing like a goatee, or maybe even like a like a little bit of a like a little bit of a porn stash or something like that. I'm just saying, look at that. All right. Well, interesting reading. Let me know if you resonate below in the comments. I that's why I like using the Vera Sibyl Italiana. They're just they just tell a story so perfectly. Um, so uh, someone's getting a message tomorrow. I feel like it's from a female to a male, and um, should be interesting. So let me know. Let me know how it goes your romantic life, and I will talk to you soon. Also, guys, offer to mention. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, I'm sure you know what to do already, but my information is below in the description box below this video. Um, I do have openings this weekend as well. I do live readings from 11 to 5 on the weekend, uh, mainly on Saturday, and then also I do offer recorded readings as well. So check that out if you're someone who is interested in getting a love reading or a relationship reading. I'd love to do one for you. All right, guys. Have a great Friday, and I'll talk to you on. I'll talk to you tomorrow.